Hello everyone, it's uh, Miriam from Paint Outside the Box and today I thought I'd make a short video to teach you a very powerful technique that you can use in order to diffuse your pain or your anxiety. Now uh, this technique I, I stumbled across by accident years ago when I was suffering from panic attacks and I was looking for ways in which to prevent panic attacks or prevent them from getting worse. And I came across this technique on a forum, I, I forgot where actually. And this person said, when you're having this panic attack, all these uncomfortable feelings, challenge them to get worse. Tell yourself, tell them to show you how, how much worse than they can get. It's like challenging them, like, like, come on, show me your true colors. And it sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but when I did practice it, and as I'm going to guide you through it now, you'll understand better, I found uh, extreme relief just by applying this technique. So, so let, let's just practice, because uh, with chronic pain, TMS, and also with anxiety symptoms, sometimes it's about challenging your symptoms in a way that feels safe to you, okay? So, so just make yourself comfortable and remind yourself that, first of all, you are in a safe space right now. Maybe you're at home, maybe you're on the sofa, maybe you're in bed, and just, uh, just notice how, how peaceful it all is. Hopefully it is peaceful for you right now. Um, if not, just find a quiet moment later on. And uh, so you can lie down and notice the silence for a little bit. Perhaps take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Maybe another deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Okay, and uh, I understand that if you're in pain or if you're really anxious, you might still be uncomfortable, and that's totally okay. In fact, in order to properly do this exercise, you need to be feeling some sort of discomfort, okay? You can't just do it when you're feeling totally fine. So, what I'd like you to do now is tune in to any uncomfortable sensation that you can feel in your body and that's bothering you. It could be pain, it could be your usual chronic pain. It could also be an emotion like a sensation of anxiety or sadness or, or, or fear, which we sometimes feel in our body, like in our belly, usually in our throat, in our chest, okay? So any uncomfortable sensation, I just want you to tune into it right now, okay? And observe it for a little while and remember that in this exercise, we're not pushing it away. In fact, we're actually doing the opposite, okay? So, now that you have this uncomfortable feeling, now that you have this uncomfortable emotion, and you are with it now, in this present moment, I want you to challenge it by saying, come on, let's see, let's see how worse it can get, let's see. So open up to it. Give yourself some time to actually let it in, let it flood in. It might feel a little bit overwhelming if it does, just keep breathing into the area and breathing out from the area. Reminding yourself that it's okay if you feel a little bit more overwhelmed right now. You just haven't challenged it enough. Okay, so Try to use this kind of language that you would use if you're some kind of bully, if, if there's someone who you're not really afraid of, but who's threatening you. Let's say, I don't know, let's say someone who, who's making a fuss about something and he's threatening to, I don't know, he's threatening to punch you, but it's, it feels so ridiculous because this person really cannot punch properly. So. So you want to feel powerful and you want to say, okay, come on, let's see what you can do. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's kind of the bully attitude now, but towards your sensations, towards your discomfort or towards your uncomfortable emotions.
Let them in, let them in, let them in. Feel them. Be open. You just want to see the worst of it, okay? You're inviting the very worst of it. Perhaps take another breath. It's okay if the sensation is still there. If it is, just keep inviting it in. Just keep inviting, you know, the very worst of it. Just keep saying, okay, let's see what you can do. Let's see how bad you can get. And uh, that's all folks, you can open your eyes, maybe look a bit around you, maybe notice something else now, the silence in the room, the contact between your body and the couch or your body and the bed, any sounds you can hear right now. And that's all. Now, some of you might have felt that once you invited all the symptoms in, once you invited the worst of it in, that actually there was a point when it didn't keep on going, getting worse, but it, there was a point when it felt like everything was diffusing. And this is my, my own experience with this, uh, with this exercise. I'd love to hear your opinion. I'd love to hear your experience because uh, of course we're all different and I recognize that. But the aim behind this exercise, it's similar to pain reprocessing therapy. The aim is to actually respond in a totally different way to how we usually respond to the pain, to the anxiety, to the symptoms, right? It's by actually accepting them in, actually letting them in instead of always resisting them because it's our resistance, okay? It's our wanting to push the discomfort away that keeps us in long-term pain and discomfort. So that's basically the aim of it. Um, take your time to practice. Maybe it doesn't work the first time. Maybe it will work next time. Okay, and uh, just feel free to let me know how it goes for you. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye-bye.